everybody, this is Eli with GameWisp, and today I'm going to show you our Series Manager functionality that you can find from clicking on Channel Dashboard and then Series Manager. The Series Manager is only available if you've linked a YouTube channel, so if you're only using GameWisp uh, to interact with your Twitch subscribers or to provide Twitch-related benefits, you can ignore this video, or you can link your YouTube channel and come back. So once in the Series Manager, I can, I can see a list of series here. All of these series um, interface with YouTube. And so there is an analogous YouTube playlist on YouTube for each series here on GameWisp. I can interact with these series here. Um, for example, I can feature and unfeature published series. And if I feature a series, that means that when a user comes to my GameWisp channel page, they'll see it on that page. The other thing I can do here is I can actually go into individual series and edit them. And that's what I'm going to do right now to show you GameWisp series editing features. So for example, if I go to our morning coffee series, I can click edit, and I'm taken to the page's um, edit series page. So there's a series title, a description. I can associate games with this series, such as uh, you know something like Mario, maybe. And we can see that we can find it here. Maybe it's Dr. Mario. I can have category tags, any extras I'd like. And there they are. Other stuff I can do here, for example, is set episode defaults. And so these can be a default episode title, such as in this case, episode with the episode number a hyphen in the series it's in. You can actually change this to whatever you'd like, and if you use this bracketed notation for number and series, you're able to create custom titles for each episode, but actually have a dynamically updating number and series title if you'd like. Or you can remove them and not use them at all. I can also set default scheduling. For example, as I upload content to this series, I want it to go live on GameWisp every Monday, Wednesday, and Friday. And GameWisp will automatically figure out the closest day in these default release days to release new content. I can do the same thing with a release time, and I can set the default time any episode automatically pushes over to YouTube. Something else I can do is set a description. And I'm doing this to show you what happens when we add episodes using this data. So this is GameWisp Morning Coffee Series. And if I save the series, I can then go over to my episode tab. And this gives me video level control over the series. So you can think of each episode corresponding to a video on YouTube in a playlist. So I can look and edit the details and I can see everything that's here. Um, I can see things like when it was published on GameWisp. And I can see that all these episodes were just imported directly from YouTube. And some, like these below, were actually uploaded through GameWisp. And you can see here, here's one that was uploaded to GameWisp, its encoding was finished, and it's a GameWisp Premium series, or episode. What that means is, what that means is it only comes out on GameWisp. So let's go ahead and add a new episode. If I add a new episode, I have two options. One is to choose a video, and I can actually choose anything from my YouTube videos, since my channel is linked directly with YouTube. I can also choose any video I've uploaded through GameWisp. What I want to do instead, though, is actually upload a premium video to show you what it's like to upload content directly to GameWisp. The first thing you can see here is the episode number and title have been dynamically input for me from the defaults we actually put in this tab, episode number and series. You can see it there. And so since that's the case, it's here automatically. The tags that I provide as default tags for the series are also there automatically. And I can add extra ones just for this particular video if I'd like. For example, like test five. And the episode description is also provided there as well. And so those defaults under the info tab of the series give you an easy way to provide quick defaults for every episode you can quickly edit. I can click or drop a, a video file to upload and I'll just quickly jump around here to, uh, to find a video. Let's use this guy. He's pretty small. And we'll see that he begins to upload. And after some initial processing, it's uploaded. It's processing on the back end. And now that it's uploaded, I'm free to leave the page because encoding will take process on our servers. And I don't need to sit on this page and watch it encode for that to happen. I can go on, go on about my daily life. Um, I can set the release date for a premium video here. I can take early access and set the date that I want it to actually be published to YouTube. Now, when we push to YouTube, we actually push 12 hours earlier than this date. And so once, once it's pushed to YouTube, we send it over with this title, all the tags, and the description that you've provided. We also push over the thumbnail and the video itself, obviously. And we push over the defaults that you give us, such that YouTube encodes whatever it was you gave to us. We're not sending over encoded video just for YouTube to encode it again. And so once encoding uh, begins, we'll see these bars fill and clear to 100%, and the video will be ready to be watched on GameWisp. And 12 hours before this time, it'll go straight over to YouTube. And that's really it. So using the GameWisp Series Manager, I can really quickly and easily add new episodes 
to a series and if I would like, have those automatically go over to YouTube and be in the correct playlist with all the correct data without any extra work on my part. And so this is the GameWist Series Manager. Um, if you're interested and have more questions, you can email us at support at or just link your YouTube channel and give it a shot today. Thank you, and I'll see you next time.